Israeli troops besieged this building in the flashpoint city of Nablus in the occupied West Bank. It's ruined testimony to the deadly clash that followed. Among the Palestinian dead, at least three gunmen and three civilians, including a 72-year-old man and a 14-year-old boy. In total, at least 10 were killed. More than 100 other Palestinians were wounded, according to witnesses and medics. Israel's military said there were no Israeli casualties. The Israelis encircled two Islamic Jihad commanders in the house, the Palestinian militant faction confirmed. That triggered fighting that drew in other gunmen. The two commanders were killed. The Israeli military said troops shot back after coming under fire. They were trying to detain militants suspected of planning imminent attacks. Israel has intensified raids in the West Bank, especially Nablus and nearby Jenin, over the last year, following a spate of lethal street attacks by Palestinians in Israeli cities. 60 Palestinians, both gunmen and civilians, have been killed in 2023, the Palestinian Health Ministry says. Israel says 10 Israelis and a Ukrainian tourist died in Palestinian attacks in that period. Hamas said one of its own gunmen was also killed in Wednesday's raid. It hinted at possible reprisals from the Gaza Strip, a territory that it controls.